Hi, bison friends. I hope you're having a good day at home. I miss you guys, but guess what? We'll be in our classroom together soon. So, if you still have that Ziploc bag, you're going to grab out your graph that has some cars on the top. You're going to grab out your pipe cleaners. And you're going to grab out your beads, all of your beads. So, pause the video if you need to and go and collect those things, okay? All right, when you come back, we're going to do some graphing. We want to see what color bead you have the most of in your bag. And I think it will be different for everybody because we just grabbed a handful and put them in your bag. So, you just will start selecting beads and putting them on your graph here. So, I'm going to start, I have a navy blue here. Mm, purple. Oh, there's another dark blue. Green. Pink. Oh, there's another purple. Another pink. White. These graphs can help you see easily which color bead you have the most of. Now, you know what I noticed? I have more colors than my graph has squares. So I'll just go ahead and add my orange. Can you see that? I'll just go ahead and add my orange over here. Oh, and I have red too. I'll add my red. I can just do it on the table next to it. Ooh, I have so many different colors in my bag. So I'll just go ahead and add these on. Another light blue, another purple. Now, I have a lot of purple in my, ba in my bag. And so if you get to the top and you run out of space, guess what? Just keep going, just keep adding those. Okay, now I'm not going to do all of mine because you guys probably wanna get started with yours. But let's pretend I did all of mine, okay? And then we're going to read our graph. So I can tell that my highest line is purple. That tells me I had the most of purple in my bag. How many? Let's see. One, two, three. I'm gonna to touch each bead as I say the number to make sure I get them all counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I had ten purple beads. What's the next highest? Hmm, looks like pink to me. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Which one did I have the least of the smallest amount? Orange. I only had one orange in my bag. Wow. So you guys go ahead and graph your beads out and that will be able to tell you easily by looking at it what color bead you had the most of in your bag and what color bead you had the least of in your bag. Now, don't get rid of those beads. Put them back in your little bowl or whatever you're holding them in and Let's get your pipe cleaners out. And we're going to make some bracelets. But we're going to do something special with these bracelets. We're going to make pattern bracelets, okay? You guys know what a pattern is, right? A pattern is things in an order repeating again and again. A pattern is things in an order. A pattern is things in an order. A pattern is things in an order. Repeating again and again. Red, blue, yellow. Red, blue, yellow. Red, blue, yellow. Repeating again and again. Sing with me. A pattern is things in an order. A pattern is things in an order. A pattern is things in an order. Repeating again and again. Tall, short, medium. Tall, short, medium. Tall, short, medium. Repeating again and again. One more time. A pattern is things in an order. A pattern is things in an order. A pattern is things in an order. Repeating again and again. Head, shoulders, tummy. Head, shoulders, tummy. Head, shoulders, tummy. 
repeating again and again. Can you make a pattern on your pipe cleaner with the beads? You can have a pattern with two colors, white, yellow, white, yellow. You can have a pattern with three colors, red, blue, purple, red, blue, purple, red, blue, purple. Maybe, can you have a pattern with four colors? I'm gonna try that, let's see. And I remember from my graph that I had a lot of purple and I had a lot of pink and I had a lot of black. So I'm gonna use the colors I had a lot of on here. Black, purple, pink, white. Now, did you guys see how I bent up the end of my pipe cleaner there? So I don't want all the beads to fall off. So bend that up there so your beads will stay on, okay? Black, purple, pink, white. Black. What do I need next? Purple. Black, purple, pink. And the last one is white. You are right. I'm going to keep repeating that again and again. Black, purple, pink. And if I get stuck, hmm, let me look back to this pink. What is above this pink? White. What is above this pink? White. What needs to go above this pink? White. There you go. See if you can make a pattern bracelet. You might want to kind of measure your wrist every once in a while. And when you get it filled up, you can use some scissors if you need to, to cut the pipe cleaner. After you twist, twist, twist it closed. If you need to cut that extra bit off, ask your mom and dad, maybe they can help you cut it off. And Ta-da! You'll have a wonderful pattern bracelet. Maybe we can wear these back to school and we can show off the wonderful patterns that we made. I hope you guys have fun today patterning.